Stan Jabalisco here to show you uh, two ways that a transformer can be used. A transformer can be used to match impedances between uh, amplifiers or other stages of a radio communications or audio circuit. Or a transformer can be used to change a voltage, alternating current voltage that is. Uh, to either a higher or a lower voltage, for example, 120 volts to 12 volts. When you are transforming a voltage from either a lower to a higher or a higher to a lower, your transformer has a primary and a secondary winding whose number of turns corresponds exactly to the voltage transformation ratio, that is to say, the ratio of the voltages is exactly equal to the ratio of the number of turns in the primary and secondary windings respectively. So if you wanted to transform 120 volts at the primary to only 12 volts at the secondary, your primary to secondary turns ratio would be 10 to 1. 120 divided by 12 equals 10 to 1. On the other hand, if you intend to transform an impedance uh, to something either more or less, Z being impedance and E being voltage, in case you haven't figured that out already, and T meaning turns, then the, vo the impedance transformation ratio equals the square of the turns ratio or the square of the voltage transformation ratio. So in this case, if you had the 120 to 12 volt transformer with a 10 to 1 primary to secondary turns ratio, the impedance transformation ratio would be 10 to 1 squared or 100 to 1. So it might match, say, 800 ohms impedance to only 8 ohms impedance. An amplifier with an output impedance of 800 ohms, purely resistive, no reactants, could be matched to an 8 ohm loudspeaker, um, an audio amplifier, as you might have guessed by that description. So, uh, 2 to 1 transformation uh, ratio in voltage is the equivalent of a 4 to 1 transformation in impedances or 2 squared or if you t prefer to step up uh, if the primary has say 100 turns and the secondary has 400 turns you might apply 120 volts here and get 480 here 120 over 480 equals 100 to 400 or you might get uh, an impedance transformation ratio of 16 uh, to 1. So 100 to 400, 100 to 1600. So 100 uh, ohms primary, 1600 ohms secondary. So there are the formulas. Z meaning resist, uh, resistive impedance, no reactants. T meaning number of turns, and E meaning voltage. The voltage transformation ratio equals the turns ratio from primary to secondary, whereas the impedance transformation ratio equals the square of the turns ratio from primary to secondary, or the square of the voltage transformation ratio from primary to secondary. Stan Jabalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.